this week's Trash to Treasure project, we are going to pick something up out of the recycling box and make a chair. Join me and see how easy this project is. All right, so to make our chair, we need a box. And I just happened to, I bought some new toothpaste the other day, and I noticed that my box was just about the right size to make a chair. It's two inches across, and it's about an inch and three-fourths this way. We can get two chairs off of this, and we have this center section because for part of our chair, I'm using some other cardboard. I also pulled some other cardboard out of my recycling. This was from a cracker box. So this is an inch and three eighths, one and three eighths inches from the end of the box. Um, you'll have to make sure the end is glued shut. Um, if you've, you know, obviously when you open your toothpaste, be careful and then glue it back. We're going to take a knife and we're going to cut one long edge down to the end. We're not going to cut it all the way off. We're just going to cut it free like this. And you could use scissors for this. And if you're working with kids, you might want to do this part for them. This is a really good project to do with kids, especially with summer coming up. We're going to have, you know, the kids are going to be out of school pretty soon. You might want to do this with your kids or your grandkids, or you might want to do it just for yourself. And this can be as complicated or as easy as you want it to be. Just put some glue on this, this side that I cut loose and to make things go a little faster it looks like my end wasn't completely glued. This is another reason for doing this. If I can drop some glue down underneath there too. Just needs one drop. A couple of drops of Gorilla. This is Gorilla Glue Super Glue. I've been playing with this lately. It's kind of, I kind of like it. Um, okay, so we're going to push that bottom down. And by putting the, the super glue in with our white glue, it's almost like clamping it. That way I don't need to clamp it. I, I made another chair earlier, kind of worked the bugs out of this process, and um, I had to clamp the bottom. All right, now I also cut a piece, this is about two inches long by a quarter inch. We're going to cut it approximately in half. doesn't have to be exact. And this will actually be cut off later. I need to find a ruler. And now I'm going to mark it a half inch from one end. Oops, that's a quarter inch. Make sure we get the right half inch pencil. I just have my pencil. And I'm going to mark where a half inch is, and I'm going to put an X down there. That's the part that I don't want to cover with paper. This is going to kind of be a filler, and it's also going to help to hold the back of our chair up. Then we have a piece of cardboard. This is from a cracker box, so is this. It's two inches wide, or the same width as the back of my chair, by four inches long. And now we are going to score. And I have just a small ball tool. You could use a dental pick. You could use the back of your knife blade. You could use a ballpoint pen that doesn't have any ink in it anymore. It doesn't matter. We are going to score one half inch from the first end. Just going back and forth with my ball tool and then a quarter inch up from that. Now we want to go one inch from that last scoring line. Okay. 
And this chair could be made for Barbie also, and probably for American Girl, just by going with a bigger box. And now we're going to go from the other end, we are going to go up one inch. Now, we are going to fold this. Now I have to remember which way to fold. <laughs> we're fold down and down. We're going to fold up. We're going to fold down. This is going to fit into our chair just like this. And this is going to be the back and the seat. This will be our filler that kind of fills in this area. Um, so what we are going to do now is we need to get some cardstock and some paper. Cardstock is best. I just have a plain brown. If you've got a printed paper that you like, you can use that. Just remember that if it's a light color, your box might show through. You might need to cover this in white paper or paint it white if you're using a light colored paper to cover with. So we need to cut some strips. We're going to cut, <coughs> excuse me, first one is going to be two inches. And what I'm going to do, since I don't have my paper cutter here, I'm just going to draw a line and cut it with my scissors. It doesn't have to be exact. Our next piece is going to be a little more than two inches, probably approximately two and a half. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to cut. And I'm going to need a third piece here in a minute, but I think I can cut that off the bottom of this wider one of these pieces. Now, no, so I'm going to cut that one off too. I almost forgot to cut my other piece. So we're going to cut these two pieces of paper. going to get out a piece of, this is just some scrap paper. I don't like to run to get glue all over my table. So this piece, this long piece that we scored, we are going to cover it with glue stick. Just buy a good quality glue stick. And this glue stick is brand new. I just bought it and it is really soft and I don't know if that's the the way this is supposed to be, or if it's because it's warm in here today. Oregon decided to get, not just warm, downright hot this week. We're supposed to set record temperatures for high temperatures for this time of year. All right, now get this out of my way. I don't want to get glue on the good side. Now, put this here. This was the wrong one. This goes on this one. This goes on the two inch piece. And move it over. And you can trim off if you need to. And I've got glue on myself, so I got glue on there. And we are going to cut that off. Now we have this box. We are going to off cardboard, or this cardboard. We're going to take this piece of paper that we cut off, and it's two inches, and it's wide enough that it wraps around a little bit. This is a change I'm making from the one I made earlier. The one I made earlier, I didn't do this, and you can actually see I ran the paper this way. And you can see the box in the corners. So chair number two is an, hopefully an improvement, but I'm kind of making this part up as I go. Now line the box up with that bottom. Wrap this around. It's okay to get glue there. 
Now I'm kind of scissors do not like, I have to reach my other scissors, those scissors don't like the soft paper that's got glue on it. That's better. This pair will work. This is all going to, this is going to, um, you can see the back, but the inside will be covered. So you won't really see that. There. That goes like that. Now we need Let's see, is this wide enough? No. All right, we need another piece of paper that's about two inches wide. So two of these chairs is, well, if you don't mess up your cutting, you can maybe be able to get it out of one 12, eight and a half by 11 sheet. You can definitely get one of these out of like a 12 by 12 piece of scrap booking cardstock. Um, but I messed up my cutting earlier, so I'm not sure if you can get two out of the eight and a half by eleven. We don't have to be exact on our measuring because we can trim. That's the beauty of doing things like this. You can trim it. Alright, that'll go that way. And then we're actually going to trim that once it's glued. Mm, let's fold the glue to the middle. I don't want to get glue all over my paper, all over the good side. It's kind of a sloppy project. But I'd rather cut my paper just a little bit too big and trim it than have it too short. And that's what makes this wonderful to work with with kids because they don't have to measure exactly. Let them cut it a little bit big. And then they can cut it, you can help them cut it down to size. You're not wasting very much paper and it makes it so much easier. Now start on the inside, wrap this around and underneath. And then squeeze it together here. We are going to cut off that part that sticks out in the front. Now, I'm going to need this glue to dry, but we have one more little thing to glue. Well, two more. I've got these little pieces of cardboard. And the other one has run away. I'll have to find it. Well, I will show you on this one, then I'll track down the other one. The part that we put the X on, we're going to coat that in glue. And we are going to line up our pencil line. No, we're not. That's backwards. We're going to cover the part that doesn't have the X on it. There we go. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get a, don't, a not like on the video for that one. Okay, so we have the part with the X sticking out. I'm going to find the other one, or cut another one. You guys see it on the floor. And I'm going to let all this glue dry, and then I'll be back. Okay, so our glue should be dry. And I have glue all over the side of my chair. Now, kind of feel in where the box ends off. And cut the excess paper off. This way, you get a nicer finish on the front. Now these two, and I found the other one, it was on the floor under my desk. I'm going to go to the back. And we're actually going to be trimming these some more after we assemble the chair. Don't want to lose that piece. Alright, now we have this piece. We're going to leave the tabs on the ends, and we have this cut to the width of our board, of our piece here. And we're going to refold on our fold lines. All right, 
So now we have this little piece here. We're going to tip our chair kind of backwards. And we're going to glue that. Let's see, we're going to trim it just a bit so it will fit. It can be pretty tight, but we want it to fit inside of there. So that's where we're going to glue. We're going to run a bead of, of our tacky glue. Come on. And I'm actually going to put a few drops of super glue. If you've been watching my videos very long, you know I like to use my super glue with my white glue. It just makes things bond almost instantly. I'm going to use this because I don't want to glue my fingers. There. So we're going to leave this to dry. We're also going to do the same thing with these. We're going to take these. We are going to put glue on that X we made on the cardboard. Hopefully I can get this angle so you can see what I'm doing. Just a dot of super glue there. I already glued my finger to the other one, so I don't want to glue my finger to this one. Because this is chair number two for me today. Because, like I said, I wanted to make sure I remembered what I had done before when I did this because it had been a long time. And there's probably other variations on this same chair on YouTube. You know, a lot of people do these chairs. It's kind of what Trash to Treasure is. It's these old ideas that have been around, but maybe not everybody has thought of them. All right, so this glue needs to dry because we don't want these things moving on us when we go to our next step. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, hopefully our glue is dry enough that we can kind of work with it. So now what we are going to do oh, we're not going to have to trim that off. Those are going to be exactly the right size. So now what I want to do is kind of put some glue right on the very edges of this, but not all the way down, because I don't want to get glue where it's going to show. All right. Glue on that little tab we left on the bottom. And some super glue in the same area. And if you were careful to make sure your cardboard was cut straight, your chair will be straight. The one I kind of did on the other one was I just kind of one along the edge. Or maybe super glue would be the better glue for this. Go ahead and fix this. Put some glue down in there. And the more time you take with this, the nicer it's going to look. So. For the video, I'm not going to take my time because I want to get the video done so that you guys can enjoy it and not be here watching me glue things for 20 minutes. So I'm going to hold this like this until it dries and then we can go on to the next step. Alright, so that's all dry. So I do have a little bit of paper sticking out there. Kind of look around, see if you have paper sticking out where it doesn't supposed to, you know. And like I said earlier, this project is as much as you put into it. Now, 
we need something to set it upside down on top of because we are going to add feet. Let's see. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put four drops of glue, one in each corner. And with tacky glue, it does help if you let it sit for a few seconds. It wasn't supposed to fall off of there. Stay. Let's put a little drop of super glue on each one of those. And then for feet on our chairs, I have just some gold pony beads. And these came out of one of those bags that I got. Got a couple of those bags of beads in the dollar bin at the Joanne Fabrics. And I have used so many things out of those. They are the neatest little bags of beads. I like using the tweezers for this, by the way, because of the super glue. I really just don't want to glue myself to the project today. Again. Alright, so we will let those dry. And when they dry, we'll come back and we'll see how the chair looks with the doll in it. Alright, I think the glue is dry enough that we can carefully have the doll sit in this. I mean, you know, the more time you take with the chair, and you can make the back higher or lower, it just depends on the style chair you want for your display. So there. It makes for a nice fitting chair. She can relax, maybe read a book. But I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these uh, cardboard box pieces of furniture. I've got a couple more. It might be kind of a fun series to do with summer coming up. Some projects to do with the kids maybe. But uh, be sure and join us on Facebook. Be sure and check out the blog post and I'll talk to you later. I almost Bye. forgot to show you the first one I did from the same pattern. This was number one. First off I learned do not set the chair right side up until your glue that's holding your beads on is all the way dry. I need to set this one back upside down as soon as I get done taping. But uh, I changed so that we had paper rolling around here because I didn't like how that showed, but this one can go in the corner of a room. But there's two chairs out of one toothpaste box. So hope you enjoyed this project and I'll talk to you later. Bye.